Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MONTY whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and I'm here with another really interesting game. It's a Necro uh, Spirit Master with Crystal Mansell reaching 6 minutes. It is crazy good uh, to think about that Necro can reach 6 minutes. Uh, it's Momo against Black House from Rain. Uh, for equipment, it's a chainmail, a spear and of course amulet of swiftness. As you can see, there is no set bonus, only level 7 hero item uh, with 6 hammers. Um, and of course, you want to play spear with your necro, uh, because you uh, stack your armor penetration faster, healing is faster and, and all that stuff. Um, as for the talents, of course, standard for Spirit Master, left, right, left. <clears throat> for Knight Statue, it's left, left, right. Uh, Crystal Muscle is left, right, right. Uh, Trapper, unfortunately, doesn't have talents yet. And Scrapper is standard. Uh, Black House Blade, standard. Best deck for Trent right now with Fortuna. It's um, Sword. Maybe he doesn't have a bow, but bow for Fortuna Trent is the best item and that you can play. Uh, no sp no uh, set bonus, of course. Uh, Knight's Armor, not maxed, and uh, Amulet of Growth, also not maxed. Level 10, hero item with 6 hammers. For, for the talents, pretty standard for Trent. You can play it uh, right, 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 if you feel very lucky in the game. Uh, but you usually play right, left, right. Um, Summoner, left, right, left, uh, HQ, left, left, right, pretty standard, Swords, right, right, left, uh, you don't want to play Eternal Base, you want to play Cleanse, and for which it's left, right, left, um, both these talents uh, don't have a place in this deck, really, you don't use it as much as, as in other decks, um, so yeah, let's get into the game and I will show you and try to explain you the thought process of the necro spirit master deck all right so we get into the game uh first of all let's look at the tiles uh for against necro you always look uh of the uh, on the tiles inside and uh, black house has three of them so uh, most likely he will place one two three trends for here and he will stack on this amulet uh, and he will try, he should try to get at least six strengths against Necro, in my opinion. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe something like that. Maybe five, six, something like that. Uh, depends um, where you want to place it. For Spirit Master, three of the tiles are very ne near um, the gate, so it's really good for him. So he will most likely do one, um, one, two, uh, yeah, that, that's the question, because you want to place your Crystal Monsters on Necro Tiles. So, I'm really questioning right now where I would place my Crystal Monster or where, where I would put my Spirit Master. Uh, but let's see, let's see what Momo does. It's a really good start already getting Crystal Monster with Crystal on Necro Tile, of course. Uh, so now all he has to get is another any any crystal and he will already be stacking his necro uh necro hero necro armor penetration uh, i will speed up the process we don't want to sit here for 30 minutes of course um all right so he's already i see that he's leaving the spirit master out at the top making one crystal mage uh So let's see how he, how he is gonna do. Um, I think he is gonna save this one tier tier one uh, knight statue and this tier two knight statue just to buff all the uh, all the tiles of the necro. 
He's already playing very good. He's not over summoning units. He's just um, upgrading the units that he needs, which is uh, four Spirit Masters and of course uh, one Crystal Monster for now. He's gonna place the second one later on, as you can see now, uh, when he luckily summoned it on the Necrotile. And as you can see, he's not rushing anything, he's just basically uh, trying to upgrade all of his main units. He's not wasting any scrapper charges, which is very good. It, it is, um, you can say that about experienced Spirit Master players, and not only um, those who play with Necro. In the old days, it was played with Mari, they played the same way, uh, so you already know that it's a, an experienced player. As you can see, he's, he already placed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Spirit Master. Every Spirit Master is buffed by a uh, Knight Statue. The only thing that, I always, uh, that I'm always worried about is, uh, spirit, uh, is Knight Statues not getting Merit Ranks. As you can see here, if you summon and want to upgrade your Spirit Masters as well, uh, usually uh, Scrapper just mess you up and don't upgrade your Knight Statues. Uh, hopefully he will get some Merchunks. Well, he reached six minutes, so he had to. And they are already tier two, um, tier three. And fun tip for you, a really good tip. Uh, always leave one tile that is in the line with two Knight statues because if you summon Knight statue here, it gives stacks to both you of your uh, Knight statues. So. Don't block yourself if you play Knight Statue. Don't block yourself. You need to stack your uh, Knight Statue. Uh, so that's uh, that's really important because it, it makes a difference, especially in the Necro Necro deck where attack speed is really really important. All right, uh, we will speed up the process or maybe uh, just a little bit of a look on Blackout's board. He already has. Uh, four trench, like I said, three inside, four on the amulet, and now he's gonna build uh, another one somewhere. Um, I wouldn't build in the inside the fifth one if I was him, just because of the witch tile, uh, witch placements. Um, but um, yeah, uh, all right. So let's move on. <clears throat> Pretty much until Death Wave, there's not going to be anything uh, spectacular. Even, even until like minute, three minutes into the Death Wave, um, I wouldn't expect anything more. Um, so let's see. Mom is only at level three now for the bosses. He's not, uh, he's not wasting his mana for nothing. Uh, as we can see, he has already tier 6 Knight Statue and tier 5, which is very, very good. Uh, he's not getting uh, unlucky. Uh, both are tier 6 now. Let's see where Black House... Yeah, Black House is building the fifth one inside. I don't think it's the best, because now he will need uh, 3 Witches to buff his trends. I would honestly uh, build it outside but with uh, only two witches needed um, but yeah it's not me playing uh, Momo is already starting to place his trappers and as I told you he is leaving that one tile untouched for the summons just to buff his um, just to buff his uh, knight statues and you want to have at least one trapper best are two trappers um, Two trappers, very high merge ranks uh, is enough to cover your whole whole path with traps, so you don't need more. Uh, I'm surprised Black Ops is not building his sixth uh, his sixth uh, trend. He is playing left side, but he he gathered a lot of stacks on the first four trends, but. Um, in my personal experience, the games that I watched, uh, Grandmaster can mess you up really easily. You can just merge one of your trends and then you're, you're pretty much screwed. I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but again, it's not me playing. I'm only spectating. 
and trying to analyze the thought process of both players. Mm, like I said, until 3 minutes, it's nothing special. Momo is now saving his mana. Uh, for the upgrades, around 4 minutes, we will slow down and see how the game goes. Okay. Let's slow it down to times 2. No problems. Oh, a small problem. Okay, one of his Spirit Master got turned. Okay, he's saving his Necro for now. Uh, because he can't use Fortuna now. For the extra crit. Yeah, Momo can get very easily stuck now if, if he summons Scrapper, yeah. Just like that. And now he's pretty much stuck. That can mess him up. And uh, for, uh, fortu fortunately for him, it's only padding uh, for a boss now. One more, one more uh, scrapper, and he can unstuck himself, uh, which is good. As we can see, Blackouts is already struggling. It's very strange for Fortuna, Fortuna trend. But like I said, five necros inside is not enough. You need six to survive necro, and most likely uh, it can be a reason for him to lose the game. Um, but let's see, let's see. I'm almost now on max level of the ability. Oh, he got hit, okay. Okay, very surprising. Uh, but that's, that's, the, that's the one important factor in this game. Momo has trappers, which slows down your monsters and Black Ops doesn't have. And... The usage of Necro uh, for Momo is really good because right now Blackouts cannot use his Fortuna to clear the monsters with insta kill. Uh, so he will most likely get hit by both mini boss and by padding faster than Momo. So that was the main reason why Blackouts lost that Necro. It was very well played by by Momo. Maybe a small mistake if with the I think it was four minutes bedlam where one of his spirit master got turned. But overall, really good game. Um, really good game. Uh, I think Black Ops, like I said, should play six trends at least. It is just the best way to play against Necro, in my opinion. Everyone can have their own opinion. I'm not saying he he has to play it. I think it's just the, the best. Uh, option to play and survived a necromancer all right that's it for me uh of course damage it's five minutes 52 seconds i saw necro spirit master with crystal monster above six minutes it, it is not the the limit um but like you, you can see uh eight billion damage dealt 10 billion damage dealt only for because of the necro healing uh and 2.5 billion damage from the necro tiles which is insane in my opinion uh, hopefully you guys liked it. it. It is something different and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.